Well, here's a 79 460 Ford block. Going to be the front cut off of it so I can measure the bolt pattern on the CNC at work. These holes. So I can make a whole plate to uh, bolt onto it. And I'm going to cut on the white line right there. It doesn't fit my big bandsaw I have. And uh, I'll take pictures after of hopefully it completed. Well, we nixed the sawzall because it was a real pain in the butt, so now we're cutting it on the bandsaw. We're the bloody apron. <laughs> Bunch of butchers we are. So it clears. And hopefully the next video will be with it in pieces. Okay, there are are the there are the the bottom half of the. Let's see here. What a crappy video this is going to be. That's all of block there. You can see that how it's pretty close, pretty thin. About eh, three thirty seconds over here towards the top, and the other side of it, it looks like a quarter inch. The tapers down to about five sixteenths, but a war jacket. Same thing for the other side. And I believe this block was bored 60 over. And then here's the other part of the block that we're going to use. I still have to remove basically this this whole section from here all the way up across. I'm going to fly cut that at work. Well, that's that. Basically what I'm doing is rough milling it down with a roughing end mill and then when I get it close enough to where it's pretty much flat so I can flip it over and measure it, I'm going to fly cut it and then I can take all the measurements. That's that. Well, basically, I have a Lagoon milling machine with a Prototrack Plus digital readout. And what I do is I have an optical comparer. I don't know if this will even show it. See how it has the center of the, uh, well, if I can stay steady, it shows the center of the, uh, the set screw or the uh, pilot that I put in for the crank. You can see that right there. That's what it's looking at. And then what I'm going to do is I have set screws, or transfer punches actually, in each hole. And each one of those I'll find the center of, and then I'll have all my coordinates, X and Y, on the block. And then I'll have to put the timing cover on it, and uh, that'll be that.